All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shema, Shabbat, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, 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 because he's generating more revenue than us, and um, you know, we're we're stuck in the ghettos, and and whoever actually has that um, that thought process of us as Israelites is, is you know that's the furthest thing from the truth, you know. This white man has uh totally eradicated the world. He stole heritage, heritages. He's uh swindled, defrauded the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans built upon their land. Deprived them of rights, disenfranchised them, the list goes on and on. Lynch has made us a public, you know, publicly humiliated us, you know, and justified the actions through our laws and legislations. You know, and um, not only has he assaulted and destroyed us as a people, you know, you, you look at the conditions of the world, you know, the wildlife, the ecosystem itself is uh, totally, des uh, you know, desolate. That's why it's not just a per. It ain't no personal beef, you know, with the white. Uh, we, we just personally don't like you because of the skin color. It ain't got nothing to do with that, man. You know, it's it's a way bigger picture than um just him being so called white, man. And the first and foremost, there's no such thing as white. There's different shades, of, you know, different shades of red. Esau, the scripture says in Genesis twenty five, the twenty fifth chapter, that, that um. You know, his uh, first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Esau goes back to the um, word, Hebrew word Asashua, which means way to the way is he, because he looks, lacks uh, his skin pigment, which that's a topic for another time. But you see the article, it says, fifth of countries at risk of ecosystem collapse analysis finds. It says one fifth of the world's countries are at risk of their ecosystem collapsing because of the destruction of wildlife and their habitats, according to an analysis by the insurance firm Swiss Re. Natural services such as food, clean water, and air and flood protection have already been damaged by human activity. Right, and and it's the uh, Edomites and the uh, other nations. Psalms the eighty third chapter. All those ones that conspired to take us down as a people. They they took us down and now they're in rulership. They got the baton. We have no parts in the um, in the um, restoration of the air quality. You know, in the uh, you know we don't actually measure the air, measure the food supply, measure the pH of the water, and pass legislation and say what ought to be and what shouldn't be. That full rulership and dominion was given to the white man pursuing a job nine and twenty four, and with him. Actually ruling, we see the conditions of the world, and it's totally decimate, man. And, and that's not an opinion. That's statistically proven. These are statistics. That's a fact. All right? And it's getting worse and worse and worse. And then you'll listen to these politicians. They'll look to swindle Jake and basically paint a picture of, um, you know, if they're voted in office like you have this, you know, the presidential debate these presidential debates and you have these presidential candidates or these candidates that are looking to uh, reside in the office and they're speaking about different reforms, whether taxes, whether, um, you know, environmental uh, rearrangements, you know, uh, change, uh, uh, helping restructure the world, you know, from climate change and things of that nature and then they'll, you know, basically you know, purchase Jake's, um, what's the word I want to find? Basically, they'll, they'll, they'll buy Jake, uh, through, through, um, eloquent, eloquent speech. All right. And then when they're in office, what things get worse and worse. All right. And, and that's all, you know, strategically designed. Hold on real fast. Yeah, that's all strategically designed um, by the um, by really the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father set this place to be destroyed. 
Babylon who ought to be destroyed. All right. And the scripture says in Matthew, the 21st, fourth chapter, Luke, the 21st uh, chapter of all the prophecies that were to come to pass before this uh, place uh, fully collapses and the uh, arrival of the son of man, which is Yahweh Shai, comes upon the face of the earth. But it says natural services such as food, clean water and air and flood protection have already been damaged by human activity. More than half of global GDP, which is gross domestic product, 42 trillion, depends on high function, functioning biodiversity, according to the report. But the risk of tipping points is growing. Countries including Australia, and we've seen the um, wildfires in Australia. And it's, you know, they, they still haven't recovered from that. Israel, South Africa ranked near the top of Swiss Re's index of risk to biodiversity and ecosystem services. Right, and Africa was uh, suffering a lot of, uh, like it's speaking about, uh, ecosystem risk, whether it was wildfires and you have poachers, you have all kind of natural disasters that take place, all right? And then you'll see that they, ha they don't have actually clean air. It's a large percent of people that don't have actual clean air. They don't have proper sewage, all right? They don't have proper food. You know, the the food is uh toxic and it's a growing number of people that's uh you know getting sicker and sicker from the food that they actually consume is regions where majority of the people are actually sick. All right. One in five, one in ten, one in twenty, one in three, you know. Then you'll see the medications aren't helping, you know, they're they're uh if anything damaging and hurting. You know, and you'll see these rare sicknesses that people are starting to contract by living in these different regions, man. All right. Because the world, you know, when, you, when you're born into the world and you, you know, your, your family members are eating all kind of toxic food, you know, their genes are being mutated and, you know, jacked up. Then you you're born and you have all kind of advanced ailments from the sicknesses that your parents and your parents' parents might have contracted. And and that just leads to generational death, man. But we're looking to break the cycle, the sin cycle. All right. You know, the cycle of torment, uh, you know, the cycle of basically not being able to rest and actually having a place where we can rest. Where actually the actual animals, the actual livestock, the actual um, ecosystem itself will be able to breathe again. We're not breathing here, man. You know, we're not we don't really have the true breath as we are. Our, our, our lungs is full of toxins and COVID, you know, mucus and, and, you know, a lot of people have an asthma and pneumonia, different type of uh, sicknesses all through their, uh, you know, breathing system, digestive system. We got to get the hell out of here. But it says countries with fragile ecosystems and large farming sectors such as Pakistan, Nigeria are also be flagged up. Countries including Brazil and Indonesia had large areas of intact ecosystems but had a strong economic dependence on natural resources, which showed the importance of protecting their wild places. Swiss reset. Right. And they'll see a lot of people are trying to protect the little bit of um of the system that they have and it's um still being destroyed. All right. Because what? The white man will come and he'll invade, you know, he'll rearrange and he'll you know, exploit these different nations and he'll what, highly tax them, take their goods and their commodities, you know. And a lot of these different nations, what, if they have an abundance of a product, they'll start doing trades and they need to do these, these massive trades in order to keep their uh, systems afloat. That's why you'll see even in certain regions, certain people will eat all kind of abominable foods because what is lucrative and it actually helps keep the system going. And they say that was one of the major reasons why COVID took place because of those wet markets after the Chinese famine. All right. And that after that Chinese famine, they had to get their economy back jumping. You know, this is allegedly according to the, you know, Esau. And a lot of that, those wet markets were full of abominable foods that people covered it and paid top dollar for. And they made it Wuhan like a, a little tourist attraction when it came to abominable foods. And then people got sick from it, man. And now you, we're in a worldwide crisis. So there's no healing the world, man. All right. The only way healing will come is through Yahweh Shah. The scriptures speak about when the Lord come, 
He will come with healing in his wings. Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields. The, the field represents the world. When you read that in Matthew, the white man covets fields. That's why Job 9 and 24 is talking about him. You look at the invasions of the of Britain all over the world. You look at the invasion of America all over the world. Nobody invaded more countries than these different regions, regions of Edomites or nation, nations of Edomites. Says and take them by violence, yeah, through the force of the sword, whether it's a uh, chemical warfare, you know, biological warfare, proxy wars, you know, burning their um, natural sources of food. It's different tactics that the military strategizes to to take nations down. That's why it says take them by violence. All right, they never come with treaties and uh, you know, peace treaties negotiation deals to uh actually have nations submit because what they want to they want the very land they step on all right and that's why the the whole world is in the condition that it is in now now everybody's wearing a damn face mask man to survive what kind of shit is that but it says in houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house even a man and his heritage right we're being oppressed in in um really in the the scripture speak about heaven on earth really this is the kingdom, you know, a portion of the kingdom of heaven is supposed to, well, really the kingdom of heaven is supposed to rest on earth. When the Lord made this this earth in seven days, six days of the seven day he rested, what he said? He said it was good every time. It was tawab. It was tawab. This was supposed to be paradise. But through what? You know, the devil actually coming in rulership, this actual heaven became hell, man. You know, you had all kind of uh, diverse animals, diverse plants here in the Americas. That the natives actually lived and they love this place. Now this is a curse unto them. Those Native Americans, they live in the worst uh, parts of the city. And they're heavily infected with sicknesses. You know, they're disenfranchised. And they're, you know, they, they constantly get to boot up their asses and they're thrown in prison systems. The women are prostitutes. The women are uh, sick, you know. So, you know, the list goes on and on. This is Numbers 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And who was him that shed the blood? The so-called white man. All right, and like I said, these other nations, these other nations don't get a pass. It wasn't just like the white man only was running them up. These different nations did their thing too. That's why, like I said before, Psalms the eighty-third chapter speaks about these different nations that took allegiance. And basically, we're, we're colleagues with one, with one another to take down the Israelites. All right. It was a joint. Like you have joint uh, military drills. It was a joint military style drill that they put together to take down the 12 tribes of Israel. And it, at their hand, they've broken down the whole world because the, the world was designed to be ruled by the sons of God, not by the son of men, nor by the son of the wicked. If these other nations were to be empowered and we would see which we see now, the world falling. Everything is being broken down. Psalms 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, right? The ecosystem is out of course. You got people that's working night, you know, grave shift. The, the circadian rhythm is out of course. The rhythm of the world is out of course. And then you're seeing, the, you know, basically... The world is fighting back. The world, hey, that's why it says in uh, Isaiah the fourteen chapter, the whole world was, would be at rest. The the world would have a actual sigh, <laughs> you know, just saying that uh, humorously. But the world would actually sigh, you know, when this man is taken out of power, it would actually be able to breathe again. These different um, uh, these different trees actually breathe. But it says they uh, take in uh, carbon monoxide, if I'm not mistaken. They basically have an inhale exhale factor, and we do the exact opposite, and that's why you have what a circle of life, you know, and that circle of life has been broken by this white man. That's why this man has to be taken out, and it was it's for a righteous reason. This whole